Eddie, massive congratulations. Um, I guess, first of all, what pleased you most? There must be quite a few pleasing aspects to that. Oh, I, I think the intensity in, in which we played. Uh, you know, when you play against Ireland in, at home, you know it's going to be a physical game, and so we came prepared for that, and we knew we had to win that battle to win the game. You know, some games are immensely physical, some are more tactical. Uh, but we went in there, we ripped in, uh, probably shaded them a little bit in that area. And they're, you know, we know they're a top team. They're well coached, well drilled. But I thought our intensity, particularly in the first part of the game, was outstanding. Eddie, How? Where did this break in your victory begin to take? Well, I know the next one's going to be better. That's the only thing I know. You know, we're a team that's still growing. Uh, we're nowhere near our best. Um, so we're looking forward to play better than that, and we will. Two years ago, you sat there and you said, you know, Schmidt being a bit of a number in England. Do you feel you reversed that today? Uh, well, that doesn't really concern me. You know, he's an outstanding coach. I think what I'm pleased for is our players, and our players deserve all the credit. You know, they've worked hard, they've come together in the space <laughs> of 10 days and played a good game of rugby today, you know, and made their country proud. Uh, well, I don't really have a man of the match, to be honest. Um, well, who stood out for you? Well, I thought Mako, Jamie, Sinks, the, the tight five were outstanding. Yeah, and then you look across the back line, Johnny May, just the amount of selfless work he did today was absolutely outstanding. Um, and we executed our game plan well. So then you look at the nines and tens. You know, the bloke sitting next to me didn't play too shabby at all. How important was the timing of this result really changes the narrative leading up to the World Cup over the next few months? Uh, well, as, as I said, these games have got nothing to do with the World Cup. Uh, these games are standalone games that are important between a very good island side and an improving England side. And that's how we took it. Yeah, we'll start worrying about where we're standing in the World Cup when we're 10 days out from the first game against Tonga. Uh, before, before you get on the Saturday, Ireland is the best team in the world right now. Do you still think? Uh, well, I don't think that changes in one game. You know, they've been consistently good, and you, you're, you guys are writing it, so it must be true. <laughs> My mother reads the paper and she believes everything you write. Eddie Manu to Alangi, brilliant to see him back. And even from the first couple of minutes with that line out, started to make a big impact, didn't he? What did you think of Manu? Yeah, it was a good comeback for him. Uh, you know, he's probably had, what, three or four training runs at 12. Um, so adapted really well. You know, he's got his fitness back. He's going to get his power back. And each game he'll get a little bit better again. That's just a start for him today. And the combination with Henry Slade, who obviously was a, a double try scorer, I thought he played very well. What did you yeah, Slade, Slade, every game's getting a little bit better. Um, yeah, he's a guy that maybe at first he didn't think he was good enough to play for England, and now I think he's, he's thinking how good he can be. And how critical to have Manu and both Budapolis back for just their experience and just their ability <coughs> to, to take these big games by the scruff of the neck? Yeah, oh, well, they're, they're quality players, but, you know, we had some other quality players back that, that made a difference today. Um, and I thought Elliot Daly at 15 was, was uh, very good, you know. And again, we believe he's a very good 15. We know Brownie can do a great job for us, and Brownie keeps putting the pressure on us, so it's great for us. Eddie, hey, can I ask about Marrow? He's limped off. Is there any news yet about uh, Well, he's probably got some sort of a medial ligament, but we're not like all these things. You never know until they get uh, an MRR. Eddie, you've got a great hand at your kicking injury. Tell us what you saw about and set up that you start to destroy something. How did that play the game? Well, we just wanted to create space. You know, we, we didn't know how we were going to take the space, and obviously kicking's one way to, to take the space. We wanted to create space, uh, and we managed to do that, and then the execution of our kicking and chasing was very good. Were you surprised by Bobby Henry? You said you were surprised by Bobby Henry dropping that fullback. Did you feel you could have scored that connection with him? No, not really. We would have played the same way if they had um, Lance Armstrong there. It wouldn't matter who was there. We would have played the same way. Owen, in any sport it's very difficult to get a number of players playing so well at the same time. Did you have a feeling beforehand that it was going to work out like that or had you planned? Uh, as we said, sorry, as we said, the 10 days preparation I thought really led up to that performance. Um, so we were confident in that regard. Eddie, 
Yeah, I think he got tired, mate. Yeah, well, I think the only team I'll be looking at is, is France. You know, if you take the 14 points they gifted Wales, they would have won that game. So we're not going to get too far ahead of ourselves. We know France is going to be a difficult game. Uh, we'll make sure we're well prepared for them. So we'll have a short break and we'll rip back into it. Tony, the long-range penalty that came off Courtney's tackle was quite a big celebration off both the penalty and the kick. Did that feel like a turning moment when you accept that or reach? Uh, no, I, it's just the pressure that we were putting on. Um, felt felt good to reward the team uh, to put it, who put us in that position to in an opportunity to get points. So I'm just glad to put it over for them. Eddie, do, you, do you personally, with, with Ireland never losing a Six Nations game at home under Joe Schmidt, it must it must be one of the most enjoyable, most satisfactory victories in your three years. Again, I'm really pleased for the players. You know, my job is to, to try to create an environment that's best for the players to perform. You know, these guys can play rugby. You know, sitting next to me is one of the best players in the world. So we don't teach them how to play rugby. We just create an environment for them to, to get better. And hopefully we're doing that. And we'll, and we'll definitely get better in that area. And, you know, the other thing that pleased me about this game was the the leadership of the senior players, that's really taken a step forward for us. Um, you know, Alan did a great job as captain today. We had a, what was the penalty count? Seven to two against us. Um, we kept our composure, ref uh, just played to the referee as much as we could. And the senior players kept the players on focus. Absolutely outstanding. Um, yeah, to score tries. I, th I thought I thought the the tries came off the back of everything that we did. Um, the pressure that the forwards put on them, uh, a defensive pressure, and our kicking game as well. Um, so, in terms of a, an all round performance, that was that was very pleasing. Yeah, did you say you're going to get better, develop better victories to come? What, where's where's the room for improvement on that then? Uh, well, defensively we can get better. Yeah, you know, we gave them a little bit in the first half. <laughs> they took it. <coughs> um, yeah, we've still got a lot of work. We're just starting on our attack. You know, as I said previously, we've just started coaching the attack now. Um, and we'll start building that up as we progress to through the tournament. Um, and just keep working on it, mate. Owen, um, when someone like Courtney Laws comes on the field and adds that <coughs> power in the hip and the breakdown, is there a psychological lift for the rest of you who have been there sort of 60 minutes or so, what does, what does that do for the, the starters? Yeah, obviously it's brilliant. Um, I thought the starters, especially the tight five, as Eddie says, and well, all the forwards really, in terms of up front and then real tight carries, um, I thought I thought the impact they had was, was brilliant. Um, and then to add Courtney to that and Nathan Hughes coming off the bench is, 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 obviously, is obviously brilliant for us and it does give us a lift, yeah. Great thing about Nathan, he's found his position now. <laughs> <laughs> so he's just going, popping out now to buy a headgear. Okay, we'll leave it there, thank you. Uh, we'll move to Eddie doing that, he's just through that door. All right, thank you.